one meaning would be by the power of the gravity that we've created. Alam naj'alil arda kifata ahya amwata. And not only for the living, but also a place for the dead. Waj'alna fiha rawasiya shami khatin. Okay, I'm just going to skip a few ayahs, inshallah, here. But Allah says, didn't I make the mountains, you know, and provide for you? Ma'an furata. Did we not give you pure drinking water for you? Waylu yawma idhillil mukadhibin. So woe upon the people who deny the truth. Okay, so over here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the hellfire that, you know, if, that if you will, uh, if you want, then go. If you want to go in the wrong way, you want to deny the truth, then find your, you know, your, your, you're allowed to do that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Woe upon those people who deny the truth. This is a day where you will not be able to give arguments. You, Natik means to speak. But Natik also means to logically give answers. Then it continues. This is the decisive day. We will gather you and the people before you. Now after all of this is being mentioned, a few more topics are mentioned, but the point is, look at everything I've created. How could you deny it? Look at your beginning. Look at how beautiful this castle is that I've created for you this world. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ends with وَيْلُوِنْ يَوْمَئِذٍ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ Woe upon those that deny the truth. They can't receive the truth because of their arrogance or because of their interests or because of what they think they'll lose. So Allah says, فَأَيِّ حَدِيثٍ بَعْدَهُ يُؤْمِنُونَ If you don't accept this, then what will you accept after this? What is there to accept after this? What reality are you going to accept after this? Inshallah, I will finish in my second khutbah. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِيُولَكُمْ وَلِسَّائِلِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْمُسْلِمِينَ Please come forward. Ahmadu wa salli ala rasul al-kareem amma ba'd a'udh billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Very quickly over Sultan Naba, obviously I was planning to do five surahs and so it didn't really work out the way I wanted, but I will go over to Naba very again. Naba is the same way. What are they asking about? Right? Why is why is Allah saying this? This hints towards people are now talking about what Muhammad is talking about. People are talking about the message that they're hearing from Prophet Muhammad. Is it about the great news? What is the great news? Again, it's not answered. Why? To push you in, right? To make you listen further. What is he talking about? Uh, about which they are all differing with one another. Some are saying this and some... Because the Quraysh, the people of Quraysh and the pagans, they didn't believe in the Day of Judgment at all. Even if they believed in their idols and they believed in God, they didn't believe that there's a Day of Judgment. So, uh, No, they will come to know. You'll come to know. The point here is what? We created this and look how stable it looks for you. It's a beautiful palace. It's not going anywhere, right? Wrong. And we made the sun as a combustion source for you. And from the sky we send down the rain. And then what? After all of this is happening, the system is running. And so that we take out your vegetation and you eat from this vegetation. All this is happening. For what? At the end. For the day of for that day when all this is going to come down and then I'm going to ask you what you did in the castle. What were you doing in the castle? What was your purpose in the castle? Did you figure it out? Did the truth strike you at any time? And when the truth struck you at any time, did you take hold of it? You know they say, I'll just mention this very quickly, again, uh, the scholars of Islam, they say some of them, and this is not a hadith or Quran, but it's an experience and it makes sense, meaning it makes psychological sense, that when the truth hits you the first time, 
It's like a big hit. Boom! You know, you got hit. The first time you get hit, it's like a big hit. But if you don't accept it, then there comes a time after two, three, four times. After that, it's like a little bird that catches your attention. You may pay attention to it or not. People think, oh, you know, I'll become religious when I'm old. But Quran, especially the Hadith says the opposite. The more time is going to go by, the less you'll have the ability to catch on. To catch on to that fire, so to say. The less you have the opportunity to actually hold on to the truth as time goes by. Anyway, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the Day of Judgment from here. Uh, let me just wrap up very quickly. And then Allah says, look, there's going to be people that are criminals, they didn't accept the truth. And then, you know, the question is still, what is wrong? Okay, if I don't accept it, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with me not accepting the truth? Well, what's wrong with it is, in very short, because now I have to finish, what's wrong with it, it you know, قُتِلَ uh, insan. Uh, Man has been destroyed, what? Because of his kufr, because of his denial of truth. What happens? The next surah, Surah Taqweer, which is the real surah I wanted to discuss today, which now because of your denial of truth, what are the things that you're doing? For what reason do you kill this child girl? What reason do you kill this child girl? Today in this world that we live in, you know what we do is we don't kill the child girl. We take away the entire biological nature of a girl. We say, oh, you're not really a girl, just try to be like a man. It's, just, it's, it's technically the same thing. You're killing her nature of who she is. And so Allah says, بِأَيِّ In another surah, وَيْلُ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ Woe upon those people that, are, are, uh, that lie in their business transactions with one another. What is this all a result of? This is a result of not understanding that this castle is one day going to come down. And you're going to have to answer. Why is the whole last part of the Quran from Surah Al-Mulk and even before that, you know, from Surah Al-Qaf, actually two groups, Surah Al-Qaf all the way to Surah Al-Nas, these, both of these groups and even other parts of the Quran, why is their focus on the Day of Judgment? Because man changes the more he believes in the Day of Judgment, the more you have belief that <laughs> they see it as something far, oh, Day of Judgment, but then he but then he me and he Right? When will it come? But if a person believes, then it's like a person feels it's happening tomorrow. It's coming tomorrow. You know, in Surah Al-Hashr, Allah uses these words. What, uh, uh, the word غَدَن لِقَدَّمَتْ لِغَدٍ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Have fear of Allah for what you've sent for tomorrow. Prophet Muhammad, when he used to feel that a strong tornado type wind is coming. He used to think about the Day of Judgment immediately because for him it was right there. It was right there. So anyway, this is one of the aspects of these two surahs, Surah Al-Mursalat and Surah Al-Naba. They come together to talk about Yawmul Fasl, this very, very serious day, this very, very serious day. And then after that, you have Surah Al-Naziyat, which I will inshallah discuss after the uh, Tarawih prayers today. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our knowledge of Islam and to act upon it to help us leave this Ramadan as better Muslims than last year, more committed to Allah, more in love with Allah, more in love with the Messenger, more in love with Islam. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyah fi dunya wal-akhirah. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyah fi dunya wal-akhirah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. وفي الآخرة حسن وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكوننا من الخاسرين رب 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 ربنا زدنا علما ربنا زدنا علما وعملا به اللهم زدنا علما وعملا به عملا متقبلا يا رب اللهم لا تجعلنا فتنة للقوم الظالمين اللهم تجعل خلافة المسلمين يا الحي يا القيوم برحمتك نستغيث اللهم تج... اللهم اجعل القرآن ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد إن الله يعمركم بالأذل والإحسان وإيتاء القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي عيدكم لعلكم تذكرون الله يذكركم فاستجب لكم فأقيموا الصلاة